Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a, a quick video of a mash tun I made out of a cooler. I chose the Igloo Marine Cooler that is 54 quarts or 51 liters for you European viewers. Um, I chose the Marine line of uh, coolers because it's sort of a mid-range uh, it definitely provides better insulation than the cheapo $25 Coleman or, or Igloo coolers, but is less expensive than the higher end Extreme or or Max Cold line of coolers. Um, so I'll just show you what I did first. I I took out the uh, drain and all the components of it. So it was easy to take out, and I replaced it with. A um, half inch uh, ball valve and if you're doing any research on this you're you're familiar with all this already but a uh, um, it's a half inch ball valve and a um, hose barb adapter here and I use the uh, you know threading tape sealing tape obviously and what's inside here is a seven eighths inch o-ring just a little black o-ring with a 7 8 inch um, diameter and on the on the inside I used a pipe coupling, CPVC pipe coupling there's some water there, I just washed this and um, also another 7 8 inch o-ring and uh, between the two I used a uh, nipple a brass nipple to connect this with uh, this side of the ball valve here and that was it that that was pretty simple and you know it sealed up pretty nicely I, I I tested it no problems with it leaking and for my manifold I just wanted to show you the underside of it this is a um, half inch CPVC I just bought a five foot long piece and uh, cut it up with a with a pipe cutter and and put the slits in it with a hacksaw didn't take too long um, I tried to stick to John Palmer specs with uh, building a manifold like I couldn't get it exactly but it's but it's pretty close um, these are supposed to be equidistant from each other and they're not exactly because I was sort of limited by the space I had in the cooler with the, the uh, size of these T pieces here um, and also the space between the wall and um, this last pipe here is supposed to be half the distance of these other ones here and it's not exactly but it's pretty close so that's the underside of that and just connects like so like so <laughs> and there you have it I have used this and it's very efficient um, what I plan on doing is is putting a, a sparging mechanism up up top here to drip down using CPVC pipe I'm kind of engineering that right now working on that and hopefully I'll have an update for you if you have any questions um, leave them in the comments um, if you need to know specific you know, parts that I used, you can leave comments. Okay, have a good night.